Hey guys, welcome to another part of the uh, Precision Laser and Instrument TBC um, video series. Um, today we're actually going to talk about uh, SX10 data again, and this time in regards to doing point cloud registration. So this particular project, part of it was taking place outdoors, but a big portion of it was doing a lot of these small rooms on the inside. Um, SX10 is a, is a great scanner. Um, however, it is not a fast scanner. So doing full full dome scans at coarse resolution takes 12 minutes to set. Um, and in trying to get a project done in a particular day, setting control inside and traversing around inside of a building can take a long time and doesn't guarantee you really good results. Um, one of the things is that the point cloud registration is only as good as the station setups were to achieve the, the best fit. So a lot of times what I'll tell people to do is do your station setups outside, you know, gather all the information that you can. And when you work into the building, backsite back outside, uh, but once you're in, just do scan stations and just let it scan and then do the registration and post. So that's what kind of happened here with this project. Um, scan a bunch around the outside. Um, and actually, if we look at the scans, we can tell that there are uh, six scan stations that were done. They're signified by Q, um, sh showing that those ones will need to be registered. Now, if things do go wrong in the field with, let's say, one of these other scans, um, one handy tool that they give you in the point cloud uh, command is to create a scan station. And what creating a scan station does is I can choose any one of these scan stations, so like station two here, and I can basically remove any raw element that tied it to any sort of total station information and just turn it into a raw scan station that then I can register in. Um, I don't need to do that in this case because the control around here and the, all the other station setups are perfectly fine. Um, but if you ever do find yourself in a situation where the scans aren't working out properly due to either you know rod heights, prism constants, I mean, you, you name it, and the raw data and you really can't figure out what's going on, just free the scans up by generating a scan station and then go through this registration process. So uh, to begin, uh, we have the, the data set here. Um, I can put this thing into a 3D view and we'll zoom in and you can see there's a lot of rooms that don't that are not where they belong. So in order to fix this, the first tab or the first command in the point clouds tab is register scans. So we'll go into register scans and the plane base is only for TZF or FLS, uh, which would be like your X7, TX8, or, or uh, FLS is Faro. Uh, so with our SX10, we're tied to doing what's called pairwise. So that's having two, uh, two scans and doing comparative between the two. So our reference scans are going to be anything that's marked with an S. And our moving stations, the ones that we're moving them to, are going to be shown by being a Q with a, a, just a long station number. And then down here we have uh, where we can choose a pair. So the where we're going to start is we can zoom in on one of these point clouds here, kind of figure out where we're at, come to this data set. Once again, try to figure out where exactly we're at. And I can tell there's a door here, same door that's here, only this is the inside versus outside. And in our point clouds uh, thing here, we have an option here to say, see inside. And we, whenever we click see inside, it's gonna get rid of uh, the front wall and the ceiling. So now I'm able to see inside of the scan, I can look around for objects or inside to tie this thing all together. Um, there's a forklift right over here. Uh, I'm not seeing too much of it in this particular scan. So we're going to figure out what we have that's common between the two. Uh, right over here are some filing cabinets. Those are the same file cabinets that are over here. And if you have a hard time seeing it, once again, you increase the, the point size and you may be able to see things a little bit more clearly. Um, so in this particular case, I have these file cabinets here I can work with or this heater up on the ceiling. So let's grab that heater, make sure we're clicking on it click on it and it, as soon as you click two points that you say are the same it's going to do a, uh, a a course registration so we come down here and take a look at it we can see how well things are fitting together and that looks pretty good so again off of one point we got the two to stitch together 
Yep, looks pretty good. And we can see down here our residual error and our overlap. Once we have our points selected, we just say add to reference. And once we say add to reference, we're gonna go from station one now to station two. Once again, we have the exact same sort of view, only now we've added a whole new station into this to help us kind of stitch this all together. And we can tell this is still the exact same room. There's a set of steps. Over here is that exact same set of steps. So I can just click coarsely on the center of the first step and say these are the two same points. And it's going to compute the registration. And we'll see the relationship down below in the red versus green. All right. So that first point that we selected didn't exactly work out the way that we wanted it to. That's all well and good. We have a couple other points here that we can select. So once again, we have those file cabinets to kind of work with. So I can click this corner of the file cabinet, this corner of a file cabinet, and there we are. There are the two stitched together, residual error and overlap. And we're just going to keep adding these things in. All right, now once you have all of these done and stitched into one cloud just by doing your, your clicking on common points, we're going to go up into our refinement tab. And we're going to make all of our original fixed stations as being our fixed and everything else is just going to get a refinement. So I can just say refine overall registration. And once that's complete, it will give us our registration report. say yes to view the registration report and there it is so it'll tell us what our worst overlap was which that one right there um, it's kind of in a very small room trying to look in looking into another room probably should have done one more scan in that particular location but overall our cloud to cloud errors is four thousands um, and the point cloud looks pretty good now so here's our 3D view and close out of here and the, all the point clouds are where they are where they belong. So any questions on this, uh, please let me know and uh, I'll see you on the next one.